Welcome to English Without Limits. In our last lesson, we were learning how to ask for help in a store, how to ask where things are. In today's lesson, we're going to learn when to use the words this or that, these or those, and how to use them for asking for help in a store and getting information. I hope you enjoy the lesson. In our last lesson, we were learning about how to ask for help in a store when you don't know where something is. You would speak to the person in the store and you would first of all get their attention. Do you remember what you could say for that? You could say, excuse me or pardon me. And then you would tell the person what you want. You would say, I am looking for, and you would name the thing, or do you carry and you would name the thing. And then that person will respond and they will tell you where it is. And then you would say thank you. Let's review these example conversations to remind us just how those might go. Excuse me, I'm looking for a loaf of bread. Do you know where it is? Yes, it's in aisle number 13. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Pardon me, do you carry green towels? Yes, they are in aisle number nine. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Do you remember the names of the things we were looking for in the store last time? I'm going to show you the pictures of these things and you give the name. I won't give you the name. You must give the name of these things when you see them. All right? Are you ready? Let's begin. Now that you remember the names of these things, it's your turn to practice. Would you turn to the person beside you and you can take turns being the customer asking that person for something like that in the store. You can say, excuse me, I am looking for, and you give the name of one of these things and then your partner will give you an answer. So take turns being the customer, all right? Are you ready? Let's begin. Please stop the video and do the activity.
Sometimes the person can't help you. Sometimes they don't know where the things are or they may not have any in the store. Do you remember what they would say for that? Well, let's listen to this example of a conversation where that might happen. Excuse me, I'm looking for a pair of drumsticks. Do you know where they are? I'm sorry, I don't know where those are. Oh, okay. Thank you anyway. Now it's your turn again. I'm going to ask you to turn to that person beside you and take turns being the customer asking for something in the store. And sometimes you would say yes and tell them where it is. Sometimes you would say no and explain that you don't have those things. And then the person that you are speaking to must give the correct answer, the polite answer for each one. Take turns being the customer and practice this conversation together. All right? Are you ready? Let's begin. Please stop the video and do the activity. Sometimes when you are asking for something, you can use different words to describe this thing. You're in a store, perhaps, and you're asking, what is this? Or what is that? Do you know when to use this? When to use that? Or sometimes you will hear people use them differently to describe the same thing. One person calls it this, the other person calls it that. And sometimes they use these and those. It sounds a little bit confusing because they're sometimes using different words to talk about the same object or objects. Well, is there a rule for this? Actually, yes, there is a rule and it's very simple. So let's join the class as they begin to learn about this and that, these and those. Good. Okay. Now, when you were milling around the table, I heard you asking some questions. And one of those questions is, what? What is this? Good. We have that word back here somewhere. What is this? Question mark. Good. Okay. Good. So let me ask you, what is this? It's a water bottle. It's a water bottle. Good. Can you say that in a full sentence? The bottle water. This is a water bottle. Very close. Very close. Let me ask, let me ask you again. Um, what is this? This is Okay. Okay. Let me, hmm, I'll throw you the shoe here for a second. Catch. Okay. If I ask you, what is, I would say, what is that? A shoe. It's a shoe. Good. There. Okay. What is that? Water bottle. Water bottle. Okay. Now, is my question different from your questions? No. Is it? Yes. Yes. What's the difference? What is that? Yes. I'm not saying what is this. I'm saying what is that? So, how do we know the difference? I'm going to throw you the toilet paper, okay? You ready? What question do I ask? What is, what that? is that? What is that? How about for this? What do I say? What is that? What is this? I'm going to throw this to you. Be careful. It's glass. Okay. What question do I ask? What is this or what is that? What is this? What is this? How do you answer? This is something. Mm, very close. Very close. So, we use this when things are close. 
So what is, what is this? What is this? What is this? I can touch them. I can, I can reach them. I can grab them. What is this? It's a towel, right? <clears throat> if, I can't, if I can't reach it, but I can point to it, if it's far away, I can say, what is that? That. Okay? So this is close. That is far away. So you do in the question. When you answer, it also depends how close or how far away you are. So if I ask, what is this? It's close to me, right? The chamois is close to me. Is it close to you? No. no. So what do you use? What is that? You would ask, right, what is that? Because it's far away from you. I would say, what would I say? What is this? What is this? Now, you have some objects with you. Lair, what would I say about whatever it is that you've got hidden behind your clipboard? What would I ask? What would I ask? Mm, that's what you would ask. What would I ask? Is it close or far away from me? Far. So what do I say? What is this? What is? That. That. Good. Okay. When you answer this question, when you answer this question, you also have to remember, is this far away or close? So if I say, what is this? It's close to me. Is it close to you? No. no. So how do you answer? What is that? Well, that's the question. How would you answer? This is. Not this is. That's a, if I say, what is that? This is. A shoe. That is. Good. If it's close to you, okay, so, so maybe, maybe ask me a question. What question would you say? What is that? What is that? Good. I would say, this is a chamois. Why do I use this? Why do I use this in my answer? Because it's not far away from you. Because it's not far away from me. It's very close. Okay. If I say, what is that? That is the shelf secret. You would say that is. Why? Why would you say that? It's far away from you. What would you how would you answer? This is a... Good. Salt shaker. Good. Okay. Whatever. So what I'd like you to do now is come up again to the front, mill around the table, and ask each other questions. Uh, what is this? What is this? And if we're very far away from the table, okay, if I say, what is this, and Lair is on the other side of the table, how would he answer? That is a... That is a... Chamois. Okay? So, let's give it a try. I'll be milling around too. I can ask you some questions. We'll give this a try. Okay? Come on up. Come on up. You don't need your clipboards. You can leave the clipboards. Yes, and I will take all the things back. Good. That, that is a penny. Okay. Two. What is this? That is a mm -hmm. towel. Can you see your hand? You can touch it. This is a towel. This is a towel. Good. Okay. So what, what is this? What is it? That is tied. Good, that is tied. Now, if you can see what the children are doing in the video, they are going around the room and they are practicing calling something this or that. They are asking each other questions. What is this? What is that? And they must give the correct form of the answer. I'm going to ask you to do the same thing. I would like you to turn to the person beside you and the two of you can move around the room and pick things up or point to things and ask each other, what is this or what is that? And the person must give the correct answer. Now remember the rule. If it is close to the person who is speaking, you say this. 
If it is far away from the person who is speaking, you say that. So if I have something close to me, I would say, what is this? And if you are far away, you would say, that is. Or if it is far away from me, I would say, what is that? As I point to it. So remember, it's the person who is speaking. Are they close to it? If we are both close to something, we both call it this. If we are both far away, we both call it that. All right? Are you ready? Let's begin. Please stop the video and do the activity. Now let's watch the children as they practice giving their answers. You see if you can give the correct answer at the same time or before the student on the video. All right? Are you ready? Let's begin. Okay. Uh, Lair, come on up. Come on up. I have to ask you a few questions because there are lots of things on this table and I, I don't know what they are. So, so what is this? This is a chamois. Good. This is a chamois. And what about this? What is this? That is a book. Good. That is a book. How about this? What is this? This is a toilet paper. Toilet paper. Right. And what about this? What is this? That is books. Good. Very good. All right. Take a seat. We'll get somebody else. One of the ladies. All right. Come on up. Yeah. What is this? That is a shoe. That is a shoe. That's right. And what about this? What is this? This is a tub. This is tied. Good. Good. And how about this? What is this? This is a scarf. A scarf? Good. And what about this? That is a waterfall. Great. Great. Okay. So we understand. This is going very well. If it's close, we use this. And if it's far away, we use that. Always. Okay. I hope you understand this now. I hope you understand when to use this and when to use that. These are the words that we use when we are talking about one thing. But what do we say when there is more than one thing and we are asking about it? Let's join the class as they begin to learn about when to use the words these and those. Okay. Now I heard some very interesting conversation about drumsticks. And I heard, what is this? And I heard, that is drumsticks. And I went, no, that's, that's not quite right, because how many do we have? Two. two. There are two. For this and that, we can do it with one object, one object, one object. But what about, whoops, what about two objects? Ah, very close. What, what is this? Oh, what is this? Ah, also very close. I'm going to put that there. What are good? What are these? And what are those? Any guesses? When do we use these? Two. Two, yes, two things, but close or far away? Far away. Mm, close, close. Close. If they're close, you would say, what are these? I should probably put some question marks here. 